Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the rest does no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. 14. And believers were the more added unto the Lord by reason of the mighty things that happened multitudes both of men and women 15 in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of peter passing might overshadow some of them the last verse 16 there came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed everyone. Praise the Lord. It is God's desire that continually a territory and a people continually that they continue to experience the wonder-working power that is back of the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is powerful. The Bible says God has given him a name. Please listen. And he said that name has been exalted above every other name. And the Bible demands, not as an option, that that name sustains the ability to cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess acknowledging that Jesus has now become not only Christ alone but Lord the Bible says he has been made both Lord and Christ he became Christ when the Holy Spirit came upon him he became Lord at his coronation when he sat at the right hand of the Father so he occupies those offices as the Christ of God and Lord the owner of the earth one of the ways that the kingdom was designed to advance please listen is through the the wonder walking manifestations of the power and the glory of God through men to men within a territory that means that when a territory continues to experience the multifaceted dimensions of the christ in miracles signs wonders healings strange manifestations of his power the bible says that everywhere this kind happens an entire territory will always come towards where the hand of god is finding expression and that many multitudes both of men and women will come to jesus i came in and i met a gentleman sharing his testimony i was so blessed when he said in the dream remember that the demand and now he's waiting for the altar call 
that one is the power of god are we together ministry is easy when there is results you see let me tell you this. anything is hard when there are no results so we are a people of results consistent results anything will be difficult when there are no results tonight several people have come several others connecting from around the world why number one because we all together as a family love jesus but number two because we have come believing believing number one according to hebrews 11 verse 6 that he is he exists and then two that he has the ability to reward god is called a rewarder he can reward them that diligently seek him there are families represented here trusting god for all kinds of things holding in their hands death sentences situations that only the power of god can solve what then is ministry if it cannot culminate to the lifting of men what then is ministry if it cannot draw men to jesus what then is ministry if it does not provide a platform for people to experience a dimension of god that is higher than science a dimension of god that is higher than medicine a dimension of god that is higher than economics see listen let me tell you this when you come before god it is important that you respectfully acknowledge that men have understanding but when you come before the god of the universe please find a way of indoctrinating yourself that you are operating um you are dealing with a god that operates in a realm and a dimension that is higher than the scope of men he will use men but he does not walk by men he walks through men so it is not unusual that you are here right now and scientifically speaking there is you put two and two together and it does not make sense how you will come out when i was meditating on what i'll be sharing just a little chat before we pray i i had a vision and in that vision i saw what would be a similitude of the experience of jesus remember when he was going to gadara and there was a storm and i saw not the exact thing in the bible but i saw like a raging storm and i knew that this would probably refer to a category of people seated here and outside and following online who are having all kinds of storms around their lives it may be to go back to that scripture and just study it very carefully <clears throat> Because if Jesus calmed the storm, then you should study what he did. Are we together? Can we look at it for just two minutes before we pray? Luke chapter 8. Let's look at Luke's account. I love the scriptures. Luke chapter 8. Verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day. Listen. Listen. That he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. Uh-huh. Let's continue. But as they sailed, remember it was vision that brought this trouble. If they were not moving forward, there would be no need for a storm. Sometimes a storm does not mean you are wrong. It could mean you are right. They were on their way to the other side sometimes not having a storm does not mean you are all right there are times that it means you are not doing anything you are not moving they were on their way to the other side and then the bible says that a storm arose but as they sailed he jesus now fell asleep and there came down a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and they were in jeopardy 24 and they came to him and awoke him saying master master another version says cares not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was calm leave it there leave that scripture there <laughs> look up 
A storm is made of two things. Number one, wind. Number two, water. Every storm is made of wind and water. The Bible says to calm the storm, Jesus dealt with two things. He dealt with the wind and he dealt with the water. That a storm does not just happen until these elements are present, the wind and the water. The wind in scripture always talks about the spiritual impute, the realm of the spirit. All through consistent from Genesis 1, breathing upon them the breath of God, Ezekiel 37, are we together? Right everywhere the Bible talks about wind. It has to do with the spiritual dimension of anything. And then number two, the Bible talks of water. Water in scripture, especially with this kind of reference, refers to men, multitudes. The voice of God is mighty upon the waters. So the Bible says, you have no business having a storm until there is wind and water. There has to be a spiritual dimension for every storm to be called a storm. And then there must be human factors that can work in partnership with the realm of the spirit to make a storm real. So Jesus is on his way going. We see that there are spirits. We know that this is true because as soon as he gets to Gadara, we see a man and we see spirits. So this condition was fulfilled. Are we together now? That a storm cannot be a storm until there is wind and water jesus gets up and with this intelligence he knows what to rebuke the bible says look at the bible says he rebuked the wind one side and then the raging of the water was it not the man in gadara who was raging with anger are we together now the bible says they would bind that man and put him in grave and i mean at rocks and he would break the chains he came to jesus and said what is all this you have come to destroy us do not torment us and jesus rebukes the spirit jesus corrects that man and when you read down here the bible says he came and met the man in his right mind in his right senses so that means that every time humans go through storms it's a combination of two things one the physical body the situation that looks obvious but that in the realm of the spirit there is a wind that gives that water life that the water does not move on its own it is sponsored by an agency that the family problem is more than just two people are we together now that the financial storm is not just about money naira and cobble every storm is made of wind and water jesus did not only rebuke the wind the bible says he rebuked the raging of the water and the bible said they like two living things ceased and there was calm jesus is teaching us how to calm storms that every time there is a storm number one know that it only comes because you are moving forward let us go to the other side you know we have this mindset that every time storms come sometimes they mean you are wrong it may mean you are right jesus never said let us go back he did something about that situation there are times that going back is not an option you have the power to calm the storm and that the first thing he did just to encourage someone that the first thing jesus did was to rebuke the wind in that order because according to james 2 and verse 26 a spirit without a body is dead behind every body there is a spirit component to it behind every situation as a body there is a spirit component to it so he rebukes the spirit this is the same thing jesus did also when you read the 12th chapter of luke the bible lets us know that one time um he met a woman who had been stooped for 18 years he said and he said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then when the woman was loosed he now laid hands on her and straightened her and said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham ought not this woman she shouldn't be in this condition as a daughter of abraham 
There are storms that continue to rage. When God showed me that vision, I knew exactly what he was saying. There are many people who will focus on what is obvious. The financial issue, the marital issue, the career issue. You are just looking at the water, the raging of the water, but that the water in itself has a wind behind it. There is a spirit that is sponsoring that family catastrophe. There is a spirit. Listen very carefully. This is our generation that continues to ignore the reality of the spirit realm. It's amazing how we try to ignore we find a way of convincing ourselves that there are no spirit influences in the world of men and if any is just mind no there are real spirits they are alive they influence people's finances they influence marriages they influence ministries they influence results Every time Jesus was going to handle issues, he dealt with the spiritual dimension first and then he corrected the physical dimension. Are we together? That means adjusting things from the physical is a total waste of time. There are people who the solution to their problem is not counseling. The guy is not a thief as a habit. He's a thief as an influence. That's the reason why no matter where you hide what you hide, the spirit works like a prophetic spirit with word of knowledge. He will know where it was kept. That's not a habit. There are people like Jonah who are carrying all kinds of presents that continue to program difficulties in their lives. Even something that should be easy, when it gets to your turn, it becomes horribly difficult. It's a spirit. When there is a raging storm, that the way to deal with it is to rebuke the wind, then rebuke the water, then both of them will be calm. You rebuke your child and you leave the wind, you are in trouble. Imagine that Jesus met the guy at Gadara and said, that's all right, no problem, just dress well and uh, behave yourself next time when you see me. legion legion of devils in one man and jesus said go out of this man now and they left and then the man imagine the man taking his bath a sound and a sane man coming back and you look at him and say ah, yesterday you were you were not like this and the man will say yes because it was me plus other entities see I have learned by experience and by scripture the, the power of victory when realities in the realm of the spirit are settled. It's a total waste of time. I am telling you to approach things purely from a scientific point or from a sociological point. At best, it can just provide temporary succor. But if it's results you are looking for, all realities must first be settled in the realm of the spirit the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 starting says now faith is the substance of things hoped for it calls faith the evidence of things not seen and then he says for by it the elders obtained a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God, the second part is my interest. It says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That means the physical realm does not give birth to the physical realm. The physical realm is a child that comes from another dimension. Every good thing has an origin from the realm of the spirit. Every evil thing also has an origin from the realm of the spirit. Are we together? When a woman gives birth to a child, sorry to use this analogy, the child comes out and you notice there is an umbilical cord that connects into the woman. That umbilical cord is a testimony that that child started from within. Is that true? This is the same thing. Listen carefully. 
every situation you see is like a baby when you trace carefully you will trace the umbilical cord and it will disappear you will have to be spiritual to know where it extends to and some spiritual umbilical cords are long because they come from regions that are very far hallelujah but what does the doctor do to have the child completely free he cuts it off period for as long as that umbilical cord is there that connection remains and then he cuts it off this is exactly how it is stop approaching life just from the physical standpoint i am telling you this it's a waste of time it's a waste of time i have read my bible and i have learned every flourishing ministry does not start just by an anointed man and cheers and members and keyboardists and intelligent speaking no sir it starts from the realm of the spirit there must be a testimony in the realm of the spirit that reflects in the physical the book of job how did it start the bible says once upon a time the writer of job gave us the duality of realms we were able to see things from both realms and the bible says the whole story did not start just on earth that the discussion started in the realm of the spirit in the heavenlies and a man came and was proposing all kinds of things satan going to and fro and god said have you considered my servant job and satan testified and said well i came to him and i found him fortified and he said is it for nothing that you cover this man while that is happening in the realm of the spirit job gets up in the morning and he does not know that is one week left for his tragedy to start he's on earth imagine the night before all his children will die and all his cattle he was still the greatest man in the east but overnight when the realm of the spirit finishes something it will take only god to correct it whatever happens in the physical realm is just acting believe me the same way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was already slain and so it will be impossible for it not to happen in the physical realm regardless of what satan did all the manipulations are we together the bible says that god has blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ is already done that means the the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence that for as long as we partner with god inevitably it must find expression in the physical realm this i believe build the ministry from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm build the business from the realm of the spirit and what what happens in the physical realm build the children from the realm of the spirit the dedication i did for our little one here that's what they did for many people they dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to america and never came to nigeria again yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village although they're in america why because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back we are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection it has been finished already the miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit the rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit are you seeing that now and that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect inevitably you will see the hand of god he said who has believed our report to him that man the arm of the lord has been made manifest why do we call for these kinds of services they are not just moments to while away time there are several people outside everywhere thousands of people all around this ground and many more connecting around the world god is not stupid to gather a people some of you left this journey from maybe outside of this nation within this nation traveling risking your life to come and sit down would god be joking with you to bring you here Abba. i 
I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. I believe that God can turn things around. Listen to me, please. I want to shake off unbelief from you. I believe that God, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that a whole family can come and just sit in and say, Lord, can you turn our lives? Ha! Do you know, as a man of God, I've been around this thing for a while, and maybe a little while, and I'm telling you, myself, even as a man who God has helped, sometimes I am in awe and shock at the way God moves. That someone can just come and sit in the presence of God, my brothers and sisters, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes like a drug, and that's it. You step up, and doors open, just like that. It's like a dream. Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. Please hear me. Believe what I tell you. Everything you are looking for is looking for you. If it has not gotten to you, something stopped it. I desired once and again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Everything you are looking for is looking for you. The breakthrough, the lifting, the anointing, the new levels, the increase, the expansion. It is God's will. His testament already tells us. There's no need going to pray and say, is it God's will? No. The will of God is revealed through his word. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. And then scripture says, let God be true and that every man a liar. If you believe this about God, then you will also know that the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporal. What does temporal mean? Subject to change. Fading. But the things that are unseen are eternal. That means everything that does not represent the counsel of God can change can change it's a miracle that my life of lack can change are we together now my life of living from drug to drug from death sentence to death sentence can change so the question tonight is not can god do it no 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 the ministry of jesus captured all of this he preached he taught he healed the sick. Listen carefully. He casted out devils. He made for the provisions of people that there be supplies. So I know God is able to do it. Please don't come sitting here tonight wondering. I've gone to many churches, you may say. I've been prayed for by several people. Apostle, you don't know the amount of vigils. Let me tell you something. And I submit to you respectfully. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Listen very carefully. Don't generalize troubles. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. The anointing is like money. If you have 1,000, you have money. But that money can only buy to the limit of 1,000. And if what you need to buy is 10,000, you are in trouble. You will need to add 9 of what you already have. In addition to what you have. To make that a possibility. So then death walks in us. That life will walk in you. My assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing. And to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth. Why? Because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident. That means the testimony that the level of grace I occupied three, four, five years could not produce. If it cannot produce that result till now, then I'm not growing. The problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No. The problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another 
um, a resident doctor. What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs, and wonders, no matter who argues around it, is the authorized signature. Sign, El Shaddai. This is how he walks. When he moves upon the lives of people, he leaves his signature there. Where the carcasses are, they say, that's where the eagles will gather. Please let me encourage you, if you are a man of God here and you are here in this meeting, please desire more than receiving a miracle. Desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable, 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 provable. No amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle. No amount of handbill, now I'm not being sarcastic, will do the work of a real miracle. A transformed life is a real miracle. A healed body is a real miracle. Hallelujah. We have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of God resting upon people resting upon families some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what god is doing now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering okay is my case too big will god be able to visit me ah. you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their phone. Say, doctor, you don't know the pain, eh? When I'm telling the doctor, I already know the situation. Don't just be patient. Say, don't allow me. Let me let me explain to you. Let me even try to turn and he's looking. And the man says, I was in medicine before you were born. I've met this kind of thing before. I know the solution. And sometimes the solution is funny. He can just give him a prescription. And he said, that's all. I thought I would be on admission. I said, no, no, it doesn't call for that kind of emergency. Just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat. No. no. Apostle, you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here. No. It's a threat to you, but it's not a threat. Find a way of believing what I'm saying. Because it is true. The sun of righteousness is here with healing in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with lifting in his wings The Son of Righteousness is here with speed in His wings for someone's destiny. The Son of Righteousness is here with fire in His wings. The Son Righteousness is here with healing in his wings. Listen, when the Lord called me, I told him something. I said, Lord, I know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power to allow your might to be revealed in them. You know, most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right uh, if they are not changed that's okay no i believe in miracles i believe in the word becoming flesh god reaching down to people i believe in situations changing with proofs proofs your account proof your destiny proof 
everything we prove and we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers that's what God does you come and sit down in this atmosphere ladies and gentlemen and you are wondering can God step into my situation I love Jesus with all my heart I have read the scripture I have seen what God can do can God give me a job can God open a door can God put this anointing upon my life can God lift the death sentence over my life can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family the answer is yes let me repeat the answer is yes God is able before God gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience God hallelujah praise the Lord so tonight I like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can God make a way in the wilderness there are many ways God can deliver you from the wilderness he can leave the wilderness there and carry you that's method one number two he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it three he can leave you there and carry the wilderness it doesn't matter how he does it the most important thing is you are separated from it look at the size of your challenge the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool footstool hallelujah it is footstool Please help those here, the power of God. I just saw light just flashing here. Two people just here. The power of God is touching them. The Lord straight up is visiting them. And for one, I'm seeing God remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach. I command that growth to go now in the name of Jesus. There are two of them. There's two. I saw two lights. So just this way. And it's the ministry of the spirit, you see two lights there is there is one something is coming out of the stomach is what I'm seeing um, I don't know what it is looking like but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach Lord we believe in you Lord we believe in you there is a man of God here the power of God is coming on him you are a ministry you are a man of God I just saw it by the Spirit. Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents there are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing no there are certain operations that are legislations it is not the anointing that makes it happen there is an office in the realm of the spirit recognized accredited by god allocated for that grace and that office please listen understand what i'm teaching you so that when words come like this i'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen no 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 there are times that that happens try to understand what i'm teaching you there are things that are they are governmental legislations you see let me tell you there is growth in the spirit and people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them what was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five two and one talent he said i set thee over kingdoms what kingdoms that was the reward he got 
a ranking in the spirit that means i extend your dominion that these other kingdoms they also come under the influence of your speaking that means you can declare things when i started out in ministry i would not minister that way because it was not by this this grace for legislature it was just about the anointing being properly channeled but now that's not just the issue now no at that level you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this you see that so when i declare and i speak sometimes it is not just an anointed man speaking no there are speakings that come from the anointing but there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks the centurion said i am a man under authority authority there is a government there i am a captain i have an allocation in the army there are people who must hear me because i am under that grace that means there are things that can be called listen if i am walking if i am walking in a restaurant and i am the manager in that restaurant now whether i can cook or not i am the manager do you understand what i'm saying and that means there are certain privileges that can happen is that true it is within my power to tell you come and sit down in that restaurant please serve him you see that i cannot cook physically but i occupy a position that has a cook under me i can make his grace work for you this is what i'm saying i'm not the one who prepared the food but there is somebody who can cook but both the cook and all of this is within the restaurant was given to my care let me tell you what this means please listen and, and i'm careful to say this because many young people once they get these kinds of things they usually will not understand what the man of god is saying and they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous let me tell you this there is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people that means if pastor femi has a grace for prayer and you need it i can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission i me a man i can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on i can partner with the holy spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him i may not have it as a person but because he needs that grace god can use me to take that grace and place it on someone It's true. We remain humble before God and we thank Him for the things that He continues to provide. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, men are not just men. This is a revelation that is very is very difficult to understand, but it's powerful when understood so when god gathers us like this god will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you no god does not work like that he will first check your problem before directing you so if he allowed you to come it is because he has checked it's like a checklist and he said no no, no the grace for your problem is here go you can go the same way you apply for admission you first check whether the course you want do they offer it just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university. There are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there. Why? Because you want to access it. This is how these things are spiritually too sometimes. Doesn't mean that we are the only ones doing what we are doing. That would be pride and that would be untrue. But let me tell you something. That as God continues to engrace us, then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step. I know that not many of us are sick, crippled and all of that. So it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately. But the anointing comes on you and then you can go. As you go, you, you know what is on you by what starts to change. 
So you are a man of God. You go back. Ah, I came to Zaria. It was a powerful meeting. And then God leads you to certain people. And for the first time, you are surprised. You are talking to the person and you are hearing names that you don't know. You are saying, okay, I used to just think these things are intuition. So the speakings of God can be this clear. I can know it this much. Tonight is not only a night of deliverance. Tonight is not only a night of healing. Tonight is not only a night to calm storms. Tonight is a night of receiving. I really believe that impartations to receive, to receive. You have to add to the grace that is upon your life already. Grace and peace be multiplied. If you stay where you are, you will not grow in results. Grace and peace be multiplied. You are a prayer warrior. You are, the, you are a leader in a group. You remain at that level. Everybody will go and leave you there. And they will not listen to you again. That's the truth. Because they have exhausted the level of grace. It's not that they don't want to love you. You have to grow. So take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on God. Place something upon my life. Lord, you have come. Put something upon my life. Put something upon my destiny. And if you came here as a family, put something, oh God, upon our family. Son of righteousness is he with fire in his eyes. The Son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. Who is Deborah? Overflow one. Just we are going to be very fast tonight. Deborah. Someone in overflow one. Deborah. We are going to pray. Deborah. She is at the back. You are wearing something on your head. You are tying something on your head. Outside. Overflow one. Son of righteousness is here healing in his wings son of righteousness is here I'm going to pray but the person I'm seeing is wearing traditionals it's like it has a little of maroon touch on it traditionals this is what i'm seeing i will pray for you the son of righteousness is here when you find such if there's if there's nobody like that no problem my dear where are you coming from zaria I want to pray for you look at me your life will so change this night it will surprise you there is a God in heaven I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is wiping your tears completely just by his spirit He's wiping where are you from the mic is not working find out why please can I pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ I release you my dear Deborah is your name in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I release you from captivity I set you free by the Spirit of the Living God I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe but the Lord is saying to release you and I declare to you by the Spirit of the Living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the Living God releasing you right now my dear where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, 
You feel pain in your back? Yes, sir. Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here like this. From my back. Mm. We're going to pray for the sick. Huh? So when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I'll pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You are her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. A nice lady, come. What do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner. I love you. You are a very honest and sincere lady. And I'm going to pray for you. Huh? Hold my hands. Father, honor your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living God. Find somewhere for her. Let her sit down. We are going to pray. I want to pray. We are going to do a very quick walk tonight. The power of God is coming on someone around the worship team here. I just saw just like light. I don't know who that person is, but I just saw light around the worship team. We are going to pray. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry, Lord, visit me. Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray. Make sure you pray. Something must come upon your life tonight. coming from come this lady you yes where are you coming from you are schooling here from where your state you are from Kaduna state where are your loved ones tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family huh? that's what God is telling me to tell you November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November it comes to an end now i command by the spirit of the living god the bible says now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty let it end let it be over right now let it be over right now Father, I pray tonight in the name that is above all names, that your mighty power in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, that it be made manifest across this place. Let yokes be lifted, let burdens be lifted, let all kinds of yokes be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, please. I want to pray for you. Please pay attention. Focus on Jesus. It is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing. No. I want to pray and minister the power of God. That if there is anything at all within this circumference that is not of the Christ. That as we pray, the power of God comes upon you. Please, we'll, have, we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out. We are going to shout that name that is above all names. It's not a ritual. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of jesus i pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name 
already I'm telling you, I see fire just like rain, but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. That every power that is not of God, go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare the forces of ancestry, yokes of darkness. Please bring them out quickly, quickly, quickly. We are praying again. Hear me. The Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. You are going to shout that name again. Not just for yourself. Not just for your family. That everything that is not by the Christ, it must give way right now. I speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions. And every name that is named. Are you ready to shout now? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Release them now. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. By the blood, release them now. The Bible says, even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Was you praying? You're going to shout two more times. This is the second to the last time. The Lord wants to end patterns. Something that happened to someone. Your mother is now happening to you. Your mother was raped. You are now being raped. Your father failed. You now failed. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Now, this one, I see fire coming on several people. Inside and outside. Lord, I pray. Anyone here who is a victim of patterns. Strengthened by spirit. At this shout, oh God, let there be deliverance. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Repeatable patterns that tie people down outside, inside. Be free now. Everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit, whether here or any of the overflows, I declare to those spirits, the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I speak by the anointing in the name of Jesus, that these spirits let them go and release the families. All those in front here, at the count of three, release them, release their families. One, two, three, go now, go, 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 go. The woman holding photo, there's a woman here holding a picture. There's a woman holding a picture. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. 
Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children? Where are they? Your children. I'm seeing two of your children in the U.S. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is... Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in U.S. How many of them are in U.S.? Okay, three of them in U.S. Who is in U.K.? Where is the one in U.K.? There's one in U.K. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. In the name of Jesus, madam, I lay my hands on you and upon this request. Turn every captivity, my God. To become like the streams of Negev, the Negev. Be free now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Over now. The power of God will touch them in the US, in the UK. I bring liberty to this family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, my friend, this man, please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? I'm a pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joint ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo first on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray because I'm seeing, number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation. Amen. The revelatory grace. Amen. Revelatory dimension of the anointing. Amen. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support. Help us. Amen. Very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it alright if right. I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. Amen. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Amen. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers Amen. to attend to your needs. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, I'm hearing. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name. But we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that. You are a family. Oh, it's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. There are many people who came who are from Zonkua. We're in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, 
there's, there's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um, either drugs or this um, uh, all these things that they smoke. There, I'm seeing at least eleven people, and the Lord is saying He wants to deliver them now, now in this place. I'm going to pray for these gentlemen, but I'm going to ask those people. Listen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I, like I said, I would not call you to embarrass you, but God is showing me, both men and women, not only women, addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is, drugs. The Lord wants me to pray for those people. So I'll, immediately I pray for this, I will call you, please leave your friend leave whatever you are doing and you come and stand and i'll pray for you my friend let me pray for you in the name of jesus i declare that god is lifting you in the name of jesus christ god is lifting you by the power of the holy spirit and that everything that does not represent the counsel of god let it live your life right now and for all of you who stood in for the name ezekiel i pray for you my friend look at me god is visiting your family eh? you is visiting your family in a very strange way this, it will not reach weekend next week before you start getting testimonies. Amen. This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. Amen. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. What's, what's, well, from Zonkwasa? Are you a family? Yes, God, it's our family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No so problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't, don't let the children who cry. Ch is it the same family? Yes. Uh, don't worry. I'll pray for you. And this one's too? And your children? Madam, what do you do, ma? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse? I will pray for you oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, who is what he speaks your language? You okay. When I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down, they either die or go down. from school before he died. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm seeing that this is yes. what happens yes. just when people should he settle down. My brother, yes. Our first born, he graduated this? from school before he died. Is your father? Yes. Is he your brother? Yes, he's my brother. Okay. Oh, please, someone help us and attend to these children, please. These are your, don't worry, my dear. There's no need to shout. Please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name. And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This student. Where? Eddie. You love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. I don't know yes. him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seeing by the spirit, this, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God, an evangelist. Hold my hands. I release you into this grace. May this anointing take you to dimensions untold. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh grace for prayer. 
fresh grace for the world. I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions. Now I pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing. That there are forces that sit on people's destinies. Just when people should sit down, they crash down. In the name that is above all names. I declare be free now. Be free now. Help this girl. Be free now. Every spirit. Look at the children. I cast this spirit now. Now. Out of this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release this family from the spirit of death and the influences of the grave. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me prophesy to any other family here that is under this kind of yoke. In the name of Jesus, come out of it now. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to their seats. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But the Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. Listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So please, I'm going to give one minute. Whether you are in overflow 3, overflow 2B, 2C, 4, wherever, or in here, you know that some people are not bad. They are not bad people. They just need to be free. Please run and come and stand here right now. You are addicted to all of these drugs. Don't be looking at anybody to say, so this one is none of your business. Please celebrate everyone. It takes a lot of courage for them to come. Are you clapping for them? Everyone, please. There are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not, look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hey, hey, hey. The son Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody is condemning you. It's an addiction, it's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character. It's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling. Even in life academically. Until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. Gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. God is setting people free. Listen, let me tell you, sincerely, I love every one of you and I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family, nobody dares condemn you. We are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. 
Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water. It is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue. There is a spirit. No amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem. You will need to be delivered. And I want to pray for you. Praise the Lord. There are two things I want you to do for me. One, when I pray for you, you have a responsibility to let some of the association, because I know how addictive these associations are, tell them that Apostle Joshua Selman prayed for you and trust God for grace to leave them alone. Come to the house of God and make good friends. Are we together? You are not free when your association is not free. Because some of you, you probably have made attempts before, but you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say, forget about that nonsense. So you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place and cut the help them please my god and cut this change i'm praying for all of you in front now the legal basis upon which this spirit operate by the blood of the eternal covenant i break that legal hold now i break that legal hold now the spirit of addiction to drugs be free from it now be free from it now in the name of Jesus Christ listen I pray for every one of you hear me I'm saying it again I don't care how it came into your life it leaves you now and forever it leaves you now and forever any association that the devil uses to keep you here in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost I set you free from them forever I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you are free. Say after me, all of you in front, say in the name of Jesus. Say it again, in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus and I declare that from tonight and forever, I am free from any and all forms of addiction. I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No one condemns you. We stand as a family. We stand by you. And we agree as a family of faith. You are free from this nonsense this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. hallelujah now don't be embarrassed i'm going to pray from here but i'm seeing a spirit on a lady it is only married men that look for you only married men a young gentleman who can settle down with you will never be interested in you but a man who is already married that's the one who will look for you in the name of jesus whether in this auditorium overflow one two three whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now 
I'm still praying. I'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people. I say it again. That anointing, that grace, whatever it is, that makes only married men to look for you. In the name that is above all names. Be free now. Be free now. The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit. And I'm seeing that door closed. Before we pray for the sick, the Lord is saying to open that door. I believe that there are many people, it represents the next level of several people's lives. I stand right now, my God, I'm seeing rain just coming on people. My God, the King of glory, I declare, everybody who is standing in front of a closed door, I speak to that door, be open now. Be open now. Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Who came with this madam? She came on her own. Because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you. Madam, I don't know you, but in a name that is above all names, you came with her? From where? Here. In the name of Jesus, madam, I don't know you, but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every closed door before you I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Be open in the name of Jesus. As I pray for her, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady. Look at her tearing her clothes. You see how these wicked spirits walk. Listen, let me tell you something. Deliverance look at me deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down no now you can see this girl imagine that she's your fiance and your wedding is next week you see what we are saying I, i'm not saying she's a bad person please don't mm -mm. but you the spirit will not shout when they are joining you it's when you have gotten married you see these wicked manifestations Now the Lord is that spirit. And the spirit, where the spirit of the Lord is. Are you looking for a job? Who is looking for it? I'm seeing, hold on please. Listen, um, my sister, please shift for me. This fair lady. Where are you coming from? Kaduna? Yes, sir. Come and stand here. I'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job. Are you looking for a job? Let us stand up. Are you looking for a job? Yes, sir. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm telling you. I'm seeing God giving you a job that will surprise you. There's, there's no need to cry. God is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, according to this that the Lord has revealed, you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon you and set you free right now. Now, very quickly, we are going to do two things. Please, if how many of you have written your prayer requests? If you have written your prayer request, please bring it out. If you have not written it, take time to write very quickly now. Um, what is, I'm hearing Baba Silas. What is Baba Silas? Baba Silas. I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father. Baba Silas is what I'm hearing. If there is such a person, let me just talk to the person. Now, quickly, please submit your prayer requests. 
um, there will be ushers, PR, help them, or whatever department. Huh? What? Give him the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Your brother is Silas. What I'm hearing is Baba Silas. I will pray for you. Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, over forever. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the challenge is, over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free from sickness. They will not say you have fibroid. I curse that devil. That lady you are carrying, I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, please, all those, listen, please, we are going to pray for the sick now. Um, there are so many people tonight and we have to be fast. Our time is gone. But let me say this, whether you are in overflow one or two or three, if you are coming here particularly trusting God for fruit of the womb, Whatever overflow, no matter how far, I want you to come into this main auditorium because I will pray for you. Um, alongside them, all those who are trusting God for healing, please come and stand now. Overflow one, please move to your projector stand. Um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. Elohim, 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 Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands to this place. Cry from the depth of your heart. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Cry from the depth of your heart. Father, this Egyptian that I see today, I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray. Don't look around. Pray. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Declare it. Those online, follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon this request. We pray over your request in the name that is above all names. The God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, our Father. We cry, our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Let me tell you this. This part of the miracle service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies, turnarounds by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus. By the privilege of the grace that you have supplied, I bring before you, O oh God, the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith, as proof that they believe you. Lord, you do these things because you love us, but you also do it to honor our faith. Therefore, Lord, I stand in agreement with the Spirit and I declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now. Every situation represented here by the God of heaven 
turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited. Your people have prayed. Honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus. There are situations here that need creation. It does not yet exist in the earth realm. We call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. That by this time, next miracle service, some people will only write to intercede for others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing, everybody. Keep standing. I want to pray for you now. Thank you for your patience, but I want to speak over your life and I want you to believe every word. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. I prophesy to you, number one, doors be open now. Doors be open now. Gates be open now. Gates be open now. Everyone here in ministry, I stretch my hands towards you. The fire, the grace, shalakatostia. The unction for a new level. The operation of the gifts of the spirit. The operation of revelatory dimensions. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your finances. This is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare by the power of prophecy supernatural supplies for you. Supernatural supplies by the wisdom of God. Every pit you have found yourself in in the name of Jesus, come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. I pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of God in experience this year. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You will return here with strange testimonies. Everything that is yours, but is not yet in your hands. I stand by the God of heaven and by prophecy, wherever it is, I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I pray for those trusting God for jobs. Father, you are the one who gives jobs. I declare that between now and the next one month, oh God of heaven, let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs. Strange testimonies of miracle jobs. I'm praying for everybody 
but this prayer particularly is for the men the grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability whether financially structurally may that grace please believe it may that grace land on your life now structural establishment in the name of jesus christ every dying business in the mighty name of jesus hear the word of the lord i speak by the spirit let it jack back to life now i pray for your prayer life the fire you have not seen from january even up until september the grace to fast the grace to travel wherever you are let it rest upon your life now I pray for you access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture that you will see may that grace rest upon you now every opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of Jesus and by the mercy of God I stand tonight and I call for a repeat of it. A repeat of that opportunity. A repeat of that opportunity. May God restore time. May God restore opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, as you are standing here, may the angel of the lord wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world may the angel of the lord ensure that in this season they are lifted i declare that they are lifted anyone called barren whether biological barrenness financial barrenness ministerial barrenness i speak to you be fruitful multiply replenish subdue i say it again be fruitful multiply replenish subdue every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise wherever they are I cry unto my God who is your God in the name of Jesus may they appear before your destiny hallelujah some of you have been at the same level you have not gone down but you have not gone up either in the name of Jesus this night I push you by prophecy step into the next level help them please step into the next level of your life this is the month of September when a woman is pregnant after nine months she's supposed to give birth and if she does not give birth the doctors have a way of inducing the birth in the name of Jesus everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season I speak to you as a spiritual midwife deliver in the name of Jesus everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper that people who should lift you but because they had an information about you in the name of Jesus by the blood I declare a reconnection I declare a reconnection our time is gone but please believe this these are not empty words they are not empty words at all let me pray for your finances again this is what is squeezing people down squeezing families down people are giving up on God 
because of tea and bread because of the necessities of life listen koinonia i put a mark of exemption in this season over you hear me i command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night in the name of jesus christ This is the beginning of the ember months where the spirit of death moves upon families. People who have labored when it's now time to reap, they will say obituary, survive by. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. Listen, and for those of you appointed unto death, whether for you or your loved ones, by the name of Jesus Christ, we extend your life in this place. I pray for every student here. I don't know what may be happening around your academics, but if it requires change, we change it now. If it requires upgrade, we upgrade it now. If it requires justice, we administer justice now. If it requires mercy, we provoke mercy now. And everyone who is in final year here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ. prayers and we're done everything that represents delay stagnation or limited progress the chain that will allow you move but not so far I break that chain now in the name of Jesus I release you make progress I release you make progress I release you make progress prayer point listen to me honor is better than money you can have money and not have honor honor is better than education you can be educated and not have honor the bible says and Jabez not was more anointed was more honorable than his brethren the grace that makes for honor that can pick you out of a crowd and separate you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you now then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing and they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them verse 3 the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad the Lord has done great things for us before we even started testifying the unbelievers were already there and then verse 4 says turn this is a prayer now turn again our captivity that means a corporate people can be under captivity Nigeria can be under captivity a state can be under captivity but they can cry and say Lord turn again our captivity like the streams you know how you divert water that when you are watering a garden or whatever it is irrigation farming that water can be going this way and you can block it and make it go this way god is saying my life was going this way turn my life around in a way and a manner that people say ah we already predicted that by next week you should be in the pit what are you still doing here and i'm standing here only because and they say we even gossiped it we had concluded that when you are in the pit this is what we'll say we have written the testimony and while we were discussing we didn't know that God can turn again the captivity of a man many people don't believe God we believe our problems 
we are used to it that every time God speaks we just hope faith is not hope listen carefully faith Bible faith is not hope it's not hoping God will do it faith is based on a revelation God will convince you and tell you I am able to do it and then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true that God can turn a man's life around I spoke I was in Port Harcourt day before yesterday yesterday we came back today and I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you it was on Ebenezer the mystery of help from God hallelujah he said my help comes from above I don't know where your own comes from but my help my help not our help I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live and in every hill and every palace there is a system of protection but uh, uh, this this situation defies the help that comes from the hill he says my help cometh from above cometh from above cometh from above sometimes when God wants to step in and help you he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you because mockery gives God glory he allows men to vent their foolishness and he says are you done he says now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in as a man if I like you there are privileges you can have when God gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case even you you will be shot are we together now that God can turn again the captivity of men I told you we are reading three scriptures scripture number two Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 Habakkuk chapter 1 ah my spirit is fired up oh. God wants to visit somebody Habakkuk chapter 1 behold ye among the heathen notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified he wants them to see he says and regard and wonder marvelously for I will walk a walk in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you there is something I would do that even you the recipient the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it but ordinarily I will walk a walk in your day. There is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say, my God. God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith, I've had to sit down to say, God, I fear you. God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say, this God, he is God. God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar. He wrote a decree, not to the people, to God. Turn again, captivity. I will do a walk tonight. I will change things. Your prayer point of years. I will so answer it in a way that you will say, Lord, even if you answered it longer, I would still be grateful. But what, what is this? And God says, I did it suddenly, lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time. <laughs> Last scripture. Isaiah 41. Ten solid verses we are going to read. Ten to twenty. Isaiah 41. God is turning things around. Turning things around. Turning things around. When your clock refused to move, you fix it because it was supposed to move. And if your life has been brought and tied to time, 
then like the clock the clock is a revelation of how your life must move when clock stops moving you fix it or throw it away if your life stays in one place it's a mockery to God is a mockery to you is a mockery to all who are connected to you that your life like the clock must turn 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for I am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment I am with you the threat letter I am still with you a man gave a testimony I think it was just something to encourage you but I'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of Jesus from that story I'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told Jesus he said why did you leave me we I there were four footprints but I got to a point where I saw only two and Jesus told him that was when I carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine I knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so I carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why God starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for I am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for I am thy God I will strengthen thee yea I will help I will help thee I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11 behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what that's where i got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly it says all day that okay let's let's just read 12. no no go go just just go back to thou shall seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13 for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of god don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say I want to help you meaning I am stronger than him meaning I know something he doesn't know I want to help you he says fear not O warm Jacob Jacob you are weak I know why does he call Jacob a warm it's not an insult it's a description of your frailty fear not O warm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee saith the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 20 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel 17 when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me I the Lord stop stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength 
they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and i will make the wilderness a pool of water i will make it i will make the wilderness a barren life i will make the wilderness a pool of water i will make a destiny that has no business flourishing a pool of water and the dry land springs of water two more verses 19 i will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shetter tree the mitel, the oil tree i will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Gwagwara song. Sing it just one time. Oh Lord Gwagwara, we turning things around. Oh Lord understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot, you will still see worms inside. How they got there is a miracle. That's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access. God says, when did I start needing a runway? When did I start needing ladder to come to the earth? When did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me? I am creator. When God speaks, it doesn't matter where it is. Even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth, when his voice comes, echoed by the voice of the prophet, the Bible says, bone came out. Listen carefully. If you don't believe what I'm teaching, you are wasting your time here tonight. Take your eyes away from the mountains and say, Lord, you are going to recreate my life. There are things you will have to turn tonight around for me, like the streams of the Negev. When you read further, it says that those that, 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 that sow in tears will reap in joy. It didn't just say those that sow money. You can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray. Turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev. In the last few months, I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God 
to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God but it's as if you are not called no anointing no results no testimony no one placing a demand on your grace but something happens to you God says I'm coming to assist you hold my hands God assists us by asking us to give him our hands do you know why because until your hand is holding him he cannot move you see let me tell you this your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold There is a name God is called, the Father of Spirits. Understand the revelation behind that name. Every human being is a spirit, he resides in a body. But God is the Father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirits that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the Father of Spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass any and every I spoke to a man this morning before leaving um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl, the daughter was there, the man was there standing, and I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it and said, let me put my own and see who, what devil will come to take it out of you I prayed for that man with all my heart I prayed for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed I, I, I said can I ever accept this I, I collected the seed I prayed with all my heart and then I said look I I place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of God go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos 
Satan. When Satan does a thing, you don't need to ask who did it. He does it so clear that men will know it's his finger. Please, don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God. The works of darkness is darkness. The works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives. Is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion the captivity in your family the captivity in your life what is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level you see it but to touch it it looks like there is a resistance there is a limitation we are going to pray are you ready to pray tonight and then i begin to minister to you by the spirit oh god turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked lift your voice and cry Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. In Prakatosika Paragade, Zakata, in Kuta, Breke Teke Padama Katabaregenimo, in Pata Pretes Teke Padagadabosa, in Preke de Sakata, Reke Teke Teke Teke, in Prokotosika Pata, Reke de Balagadosh. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. Shut <laughs> Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of. I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates. No one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept. And that's what he said. He said he saw me in the dream. I came and I prophesied. It was like a koinonia service. I laid hands on him and I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him. True story. He said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview. Now, I don't know whether or not they have given him the job. I don't know that part. But that's God at work. From a dream, prophecy, you wake up physically with the alert. You didn't apply. Ah. Listen, listen. Don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts, higher than our thoughts. When, when you see, it's an act of faith to let God choose how to surprise you. Yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you. 
you may be asking God for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you Lord one cup of tea and I'm grateful and God says no if I give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things I want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one God can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what I'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow God can act mysteriously fast I was watching a documentary I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and I said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your God is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth God we are talking God here number one God can act fast so that you don't limit God and say Lord I know you will act but um, no problem no number two listen very carefully God can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it God can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you and then number three Satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life 
I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you. And they give a bad word that closes your door. Recycles your pain again. then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer God agreed for David to become king Samuel refused David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough it's not just demons men can stop your breakthrough and not all men are castable. There are men who are gates, even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I'm ready for you. This is my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah.
Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne, you are seated on the throne, but be welcome here tonight, you are seated on the throne, you are welcome here tonight, you are seated on Hallelujah. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of
force of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah 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 glory to the father you are seated on the throne Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there. Outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now, Shantaikatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back
I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you're a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father. You are sweet and wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please Restoration, Kato Soda Batana. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Elama Saba Sana Katoshia Magata. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house he may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever 
whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca Rebecca You are seated on the throne Stand up You are Rebecca That's the person I'm talking about Come Stand up You are seated on the throne Madam Where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You program. came alone? I came with my niece and my younger brother and my cousins. They live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja? Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia the place where God dwells in the name of Jesus Christ the power that fights you in the name of Jesus Christ this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies mama you are Rebecca I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you the Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity in the name of Jesus hallelujah Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes. Come, I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. I, ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ name of Jesus Christ um, this, this mama doesn't speak English I think she speaks Yoruba 
She speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ajimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it in her ear. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Shadow Kasudosh. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you. I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. That's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. Shabatakato seketebas. Shabrakato skata. The strong men within those regions. Let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They are in almost every overflow. There are representations. Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God. 
receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick there is an anointing I say it again the anointing to bring healing to transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah mama come please please help her she's not running by herself it's under the anointing mama i see a new dimension of healing coming on you a new time just hold her a new dimension of healing in the name of jesus christ ah this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness i'm praying help that lady please in the name of jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of jesus christ the grace the grace in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stand in front of you just to stand in front of you that's the instruction i'm getting the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you i don't know what this is but in the name of jesus christ I stand in front of you be free right now be free right now be free right now all of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus I agree with you and I declare come let me touch your child I'm going to pray for favor when you hear me say favor lift your hands and receive you need it in your life too many people have taken advantage of you even as I'm seeing people laughing that's that's why I just stopped this is very strange a strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit that's what the Lord is showing me strange it's an anointing very strange anointing you see if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why god does these things it's not showmanship the bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter i read it for you you can't stand it it's something that laughter you see is warfare it's not just laughing hysterically i release it the families that is for the individuals that is for laughter is a weapon in the spirit it disarms the enemy so my dear when i'm praying for favor please you stand to receive it eh? but i bless your child in jesus name hallelujah there's someone your family member has been missing this is more than one year who is that person because the person who is missing is still alive let if she's the one who is missing don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing? Yes. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are just find out once there don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you yes, sir. my in-law your in-law yes sir 
What do you mean your in-law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother. Missing. missing. Since when? 2014. 2014. Yes. They've not seen him. Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This is the only one. What but happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over times, they call me in the police station or your state, but I caught that is arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak to us young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. The only son. One, one, get one. That's it's all. Only, yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, if, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU. He left the school and went away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they, smoking he, Igbo. He, Police he came and packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what Mama. Let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in your situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, from okay. Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor 
and die in pain go to their graves in pain we challenge that force now in the name of Jesus Christ it's an error to sow and someone reap in the name of Jesus every true mother that has labored to sow may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ father in the name of Jesus I'm praying everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here I connect them back now in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you I connect them back now in the name of Jesus Jesus called Lazarus and when he called Lazarus he came out I call them by their various names in the spirit for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they they smuggle their way out of the country they go to Libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ may they be reconnected back to you in Jesus name God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing I hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but I will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me I'm looking at you the Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands August 7th don't forget write it father in the name of Jesus I pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me August 7th I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now I stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now fire is coming on you now fire is coming on you now Fire is coming on you now. Fire is coming on you now. I command that they let you go now. For some of us, 
when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from Benway Benway State look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while I was looking I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that 
there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship. Everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that, and somebody marries her, that guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already... Ah! Someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid. 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 I just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of fibroid, we pray for the sick shortly. We'll be very fast at it. Fibroid is gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Can we pray for the sick very quickly? Now listen, I want you, if you are coming here to be prayed for, come full of faith. You don't have to say what is wrong with you. If you are not asked, don't worry. And all of us who are going to pray for the sick, we are going to make this very fast. Are we together? Now, um, as always, overflow one and part of overflow two. Part of overflow two. You will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, not main auditorium, sorry, not overflow one. The main auditorium and then half of overflow two. Allow them to come here. Overflow one, move to your projector stand, please. The remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside, you can move to the projector stand. Overflow three, all of you trusting God for healing, please move to your projector stand. We have about 10, 15 minutes to do this very quickly. While we are doing that, ushers and uh, I don't know, whatever, whoever needs to help them, submit your prayer request very quickly. If you have your prayer request, you are coming out here for healing, come. Come. There is a God that heals. Please, if you have your prayer request, you can lift it up, write it very quickly. No, no, the ushers will collect it. Ushers. And, and then if, if there are not many, PR department can help them. Let's make it snappy. Or any other department can help them. Let's, let's make it very... We're going to make it very fast. Please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great.
Yeah. <laughs>
Everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, O oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Yeah. 
whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus. May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours, let there be that miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it. Could be patterns, could be whatever it is. I stretch my hands right now. And in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children the anointing that makes things work the grace for performance i release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now i command it to work in the name of jesus christ and i announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of jesus christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my god show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of jesus christ every area 
where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you. I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters. I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act. Because some of you have divorced this book. Not willingly, but by reason of the operation of spirit. The only time you open your Bible is in church or koinonia. Right now, fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the word of God. An appetite for the word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say, I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I curse that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately keep standing please you need Jesus desperately desperately you're saying man of God I need Jesus as a matter of urgency I have seen the value I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life hitherto every time I hear about Jesus I I resent him I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories. Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they are coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. 
I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus I declare that I'm a child of God the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them I pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert, all of you. There will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.